gets and Hakkinen moves up into second position. So he's already taken his teammate, David Coulthard, whose job now will be not only to... Oh, somebody's over. Bang! That's a Benetton in the background. Sauber, I think, Mary. And Sauber upside the, down. Yeah, Sauber upside down, Benetton behind it. Well, I think they've done exactly the right thing in bringing the safety car out because uh, the Sauber looked well away from the scene of the action on the tarmac. There it is. Yeah, that, that's, that's a nasty that's accident, nasty actually, nasty because the, the, the roll-over hoop really did dig into the soft... Oh, that's a terrible crash. And it's Zolta in the other BAR. Well, this is a, quite appalling. Now, is he all right? That's I think the important I saw him thing. throw the steering wheel off. Yes. yes. He's getting out. He's gone off on the way into Eau Rouge this time. Uh, no, it is on the way out. Are we looking at the right one? No, he's dropped it on the look on the, in the bottom of the hill and then hits before he gets to the top of the... Oh, oh and he's already rolling over, look. That is a very, very bad accident. But once again, the BAR driver stepping clear. Martin... I must be very careful what I say, but as you watch this replay of Zonta with the car spinning and all the wheels off, all four wheels off, notwithstanding those uh, tethers that are supposed to keep them on, but the forces are so tremendous, I doubt that anything would keep them on. Jack Vignol вновь в пол пытался целиком в пол пройти, несмотря на резину с четырьмя канавками пройти этот поворот, потерял ее и вновь, как и на свободных заездах в прошлом году, разбил, посмотрите, перевернул целиком машину, двойной переворот. Вот как старается Жак Вильнев, он был на седьмом месте после первой серии. Зо клон ди аутсен вагон, гелукх умгедеет, вас вел слим гнух ум эйфе ти блайфе зите, де заубер зваре тоталос оп де фрайдаг охтен, ден дит гебюрда дер. Alleen ziet er hard een bocht in. Hij zei het was mijn eigen schuld. Wagen raakt de ginbak, vliegt een stukje, komt achterwaarts in de banden terecht. De energie moet dan weg. De auto draait op de zijkant en vervolgens ondersteboven in de ginbak. En dat was het einde van de Zauber en het einde van de vrijdag van Alleen. En toch, het bracht hem alsnog de zevende plaats. Dat rondje daarvoor. Go! I think it's Vertz, I think it's Vertz. I don't know, I dare say. And the safety car is out. Ah, oh, there is the incident. It looked like it was a, a Ligier, possibly Diniz. A tangle, these open wheelers, wheels tangling. And that's what somersaulted the 40 of Badoa over. A sensational start by Eddie Irvine in the Ferrari, who indeed is up to second place, and Schumacher has passed the Williams. Down into third and fourth position goes David Hill, and wow, that's one of the Jordans. This is what we feared at this corner, and that looks very nasty indeed. And miracle of miracles. This is well nigh unbelievable. Martin Brundle gets out of the car, and he is seemingly all right in terms of... Us. Now, here it is. Let's have a look at it again. Now, watch the Jordan, the gold car, in the centre of your picture. Watch the McLaren. Watch the McLaren there. That's David Coulthard, who moves slides sideways. He runs into Martin Brundle, making up a good start. Martin Brundle's Jordan goes over spectacularly. What a tremendous tribute to the strength of these Formula One cars. <laughs> Has he incurred a jump start? It's possible. Coulthard is leading and squeezing Damon Hill, who is second. Schumacher is third, and off goes Frensen. And a tremendous pile-up at the back of the grid. I was watching the front of it, so I missed the detail on that one, but it looks to me like it's Katayama's Tyrrell. Katayama's Tyrrell, which, of course, has been upended. The race will be stopped, absolutely no doubt about that. It has already been stopped. And now we must hope that Ukio Katayama is all right. Oh, and there we see Luca Bador. That's a big shunt. The left rear, the wing is off the car. That's been contact, I suspect, in a similar part of the track that we saw John Christophe Bouillon go off yesterday. And here we see Luca Bador at the part of the circuit. It's almost a mirror image of what we saw from John Christophe Bouillon. And look at the impact, heavy impact on the left rear. He'll have a stiff neck. Look at the way his head has been tossed around and very lucky. In fact, the car did go over. We didn't realize when we saw it. 
then whips back again a vicious unpleasant accident and Luca Bador will be taken away just for a precautionary checkup in the medical center he lost control of his car and I decided to keep going to get the lap time and and he came back onto the track and uh, hit me hit my car my car turned over and it was quite interesting but um i i fortunately was not hurt which was the um it's a big relief petro lamy has a massive testing accident at silverstone dislocating both legs and breaking his wrist he's likely to be out for the rest of the year and will be replaced at lotus by italian alessandro zanotti then it's michael schumacher on the one to oh and there's a very big shunt well, that is indeed that's the exit of uh, looking at it, it's difficult to tell who it is. Upside down, that car, both left hand wheels, front and rear are off. And we have to see the car pushed back. It's, a, it's, it's Rubens Barrichello, the man who's lying currently second in the World Championship. And this is just the section of circuit. Here we again, we see Barrichello coming through. It looks like something broke on that car, John. I mean, it just didn't turn left, did it? It's, uh, to me, it looked like something on the left front suspension, maybe in the steering. It's difficult to tell. It happens very quickly. And really what you have to watch is the right front wheel. Here is Verstappen looking to go by Irvine, who at the same time himself hasn't seen Verstappen, but looks to go by. They touch wheels. Verstappen loses it on the grass. They collect Brundle. Verstappen up in the air. Verstappen rolls and miraculously doesn't land on his head. That is one big accident and uh, just shows you how critical knowing what's around you is as a driver. Verstappen will not have believed that. Um, Eddie Irvine should not have come across. But... but the excitement wasn't over yet. This was how Christian Fittibaldi finished eighth. But in this morning's warm-up, Derek Warwick had what looked like an absolutely dreadful accident. But happily, after resting, Derek declared that he was OK to race, and he's doing just that. Um, I feel OK. I've got a bit of a, a, a stiff neck, obviously. Eric Comas had crashed out of the Ostkurve chicane, and although he was able to crawl from the wreckage of his crashed Ligier Lamborghini, there was a fair amount of debris on the circuit, and it was clear that the track had to be cleared. The wheel moves a lot, and the car uh, going to... Uh just a little on, on the left and then I, I spun and uh, I, uh, I crash but uh, I don't know exactly why as if to illustrate just how dangerous and unpredictable the bank corner is the world champion Ayrton Senna got it wrong turning in he hit a bump at 180 miles per hour plus got sideways spun and flipped the McLaren against the tire wall a most uncharacteristic accident which temporarily pinned the Brazilian under the car Senna emerged slightly shaken but indicated that he didn't need help and told the team later that he'd been trying to snatch six gear as he turned in and hit the bump as he had one hand off the steering wheel. Felice's drive, as I said, is uh, uh, almost unbelievable. And, oh my, oh God. That is a Lola, that's all I can tell No, It's Derek Warwick, my, my, it's Derek Warwick who's crashed at the Parabolica and as you can see, my goodness, he's okay. That is an incredible testimony to the strength and safety of the construction of the cars these days and there is absolutely no doubt in my mind that the race will have to be stopped.